Jack, a very difficult afternoon. How do you put it into words? Uh, humiliating, embarrassing. Um, so I think there's two ways to look at it. Um, well, there's a few ways to look at it from a personal point of view as a manager. Um, as a football club, for players, we said as a collective for the fan base, humiliating and embarrassing. It's the only way to describe it. You shouldn't lose a game by that manner of goals. Um, you shouldn't lose a game in that, that manner of performance. Um, so we have done. So every ounce of criticism that fall upon my shoulders is deserved because I said that um, from a professional pride perspective, uh, really so. What have you said to the players after the game? Well, similar as I've just said to you in terms of that embarrassment and humiliation. They should feel that way, because how I feel. Um, I think if you have that desire to want to succeed in your career, when you have days like today, it should hurt you immensely. Um, but ultimately, you have to own the responsibility for it, and you also have to own the solution as well, because um, criticism will rain heavily upon you for it. But ultimately, it's only you individually. Players individually, first and foremost, that can control their own behaviours and actions, um, like myself, and you can only drag your own self out of that situation. What is the solution then when you didn't get the reaction after the Altmar game, mm. for example? That's a fair question, Look, because um, as a manager you can continually look to solve, solve, uh, solve problems sorry, on, on a weekly basis, whether you're in good form or bad form. And so every bit of work I'm doing at the moment is to solve the issues that I'm seeing on the pitch and I've not found the solution yet. I've not stopped searching for it as long as I've got the opportunity to do so. Um, but I need to find it, I need to find it quickly. Um, I need to find lots of them because there are, there are lots of problems to solve at the moment for us. How difficult a balance is, is it when you say it's embarrassing and humiliating but also trying to protect players as well? Is it a case of if you're going to keep putting in performances like that you can't protect them? No, I don't think we should be protected by it. I think um, those players have worked under me over the years um, and deal with me know that I'm hugely protected from my players and own the responsibility and I'm doing likewise again today. It's ultimately my shoulders that it falls upon in the performance and if there's going to be heavy criticism put on my, my shoulders and broad shoulders enough and experience enough to deal with it but you can't run away from it as well. You, you know, it said every player should feel embarrassed and humiliated and struggle to sleep tonight because it's a professional pride. Um, so irrespective of the level of the opponent and the level of the game you're operating at, you should always feel that way if you've got that desire to want to be successful and win. When it's results like this in Altmar, it maybe attracts unwanted attention. Does that put more pressure on you? Do people then start focusing on your role? Um, yeah, probably. And that's the nature of the beast. And... I won't shy away from that either because I think prior to this season I don't think I lost the game more than three goals as a manager. So I'm, you know, this is hurting me. I'm suffering from it. Um, doesn't diminish my want to put it right. I've overcame challenges before and I want to overcome this one, but it hurts a lot. It hurts a lot. Um, and the extra attention or speculation or debate or whatever, that, I accept that because that's just the nature of my job. And when you are in charge of a team that's produced those two results, your results sorry, that you mentioned there, then it's absolutely deserved. What do you do to get some support then from the board this week in particular with the transfer window about to close? Um, I think, to be honest, I haven't even thought about that simply because I'm not getting enough from the current group I have. So it'd be, it'd be weak and remiss of me to, to look for excuses and oppose and blame others at the club because I need to own that. I need to own that we've got a, a good group here that should be producing better than they are, um, led by me. So, you know, I can understand people pointing towards that and what we can do over the coming days to strengthen the group again. But first and foremost, I need to get more from the group than I'm getting at the moment. Do you feel you're getting that support elsewhere in terms of the board, in terms of this role and the project you want to, to put into place here? Yeah, look, I, I, it goes back again to, to the ownership of the responsibility, the performances we've produced over the last few games. That's mine. That's mine. I mean, I, I work as diligently and as consistently as I've ever done in management to find the solution and how we prepare and how much work and effort and attention to detail I put in. I've done it at previous clubs, I'm not doing anything differently here, but it's not working at the moment. Um, so I don't, I'm not going to, I'm not shifting responsibility to blame on anybody else, I'll take that. Um, and as I said, as long as I'm the manager here, I'll continue to try and find the solution. I'm determined to do so because I want to put it right. Appreciate your time, Jack. Thank you. Thanks, Luke.